So, hello guys. Today, we'll be showing you practically on how to treat your catfish with salt, right? We're going to be doing that together, practically, on how to, you still feed this one, so you just smile again. On how to treat your catfish with salt. Because in our previous video, I did talk about prophylactic treatment and a lot of persons messaged us to practically carry out this exercise on how to treat your catfish with salt, right? There are some of these not expensive, cheap prophylactic treatments, that is preventive measures you need to adhere to to make sure that disease does not um, break out in your farm. And one of it is treating your catfish with salt, which is what I will be showing you today. So we can go to the nursery section to show you how to treat your catfish with salt. Meanwhile, our last hatching actually did well in this particular season and this is their growth so far in one week. This is what we have so far in, in one week and these guys are already eating a lot. They're eating a lot of my money. So let's go while I show you how to practically treat your catfish with salt. Right? So guys, um, anytime, any day, I would always advise that you adhere to preventive measures in your farm. You don't allow disease to break out before you take a caution, right? Because treatment is usually way more expensive than having to adhere to preventive measures, right? You don't want to start treating your fish because you eventually might not get some of them back. Definitely some of them will give up, they will die and it is expensive to start buying all of these drugs you know to start treating your fish and all of that so it is always the best practice to adhere to preventive measures we call it prophylactic treatment okay prophylactic treatment is what you do for your it should be a routine you you keep to in total weeks or in 30 weeks right to just make sure that there is no disease outbreak from the starting of your cycle till the end of that cycle right like i said we'll be treating our fish right now with salt it's just salt no medicine no drugs just with salt basically is what we'll be doing now we'll be treating our catfish right now with salt and um, i'll be giving you the formula so there are two methods right to treating your catfish with salt the first one is what i call salt dip and the second one is salt bits right so salt dip is what you do before stocking Let's say for example, after buying the fingerlings or juvenile which you want to stock, after bringing it to your farm, you don't just turn it like that into your pond. It is a bad practice. You don't know exactly the bacteria or the parasite that has accompanied you to your own farm. So you need to disinfect by carrying out a prophylactic treatment before you stock these fishes, right? It is a standard practice you are supposed to do so that you will not be calling your producer or your hatcher that the fish you gave me are dying uh all of these they are not growing is because you don't have a proper management skills which is the knowledge that you can't buy cut you need all of this right so i'll be showing you that practically today how to treat your fish with salt right so the first one is what we'll be starting with which is salt dip this one is what you just do just once when you want to stop as you're bringing the fish you do it once but the other one which is salt bit that's what we'll do outside there or in here when you already have your fish in stock. You'll still be doing this treatment. That one you do it every two two weeks or every three three weeks. Okay, every two two weeks or every three three weeks to make sure that you are doing things correctly. So the formula for this salt dip is 100 grams of salt to 50 liters of water. That's what you need. And that is what you'll be using to do the salt bath that's the formula sake of the practical i already got some fish from my pond help me and book it okay. i already got some fish here from just one of my ponds over there to do um salt deep treatment on them right so this is what we'll be using so you would assume that this is the the fish you brought from whichever farm, maybe from Hobbs J farm or any farm and you are ready to stock this fish in your own farm. There are things you will do before you stock them in your own farm, which is what we'll be doing right now. So 100 grams of salt, don't forget, to 50 liters 
of water. So while I'm trying to measure the salt, let's try to get the water running as well. This my parts are 50 liters, right? So it is important you get a calibrated bowl in your farm to always uh, measure whatever you want to measure, right? But I already know this is 50, that is 50, this is 50. I already know in my farm, right? So I'll be using this particular one to carry out this process and stay close to the end so that you stop complaining that your fishes are dying. These are the things we do to make us remain profitable in the business. So we're going to be measuring 100 grams. The weight is calibrated in kg. So for you to, if you see one, it means one kg, right? It means one kg. For us to get 100, we need 0 0.1, not one, 0 0.1, that is 100 kg. So do this with me. Let's see how it goes. What does it say? 0 0.05, right? Is that what you have? Mm -hmm. 0.05 Mind you, this full salt is 500 grams So all you need is just 100 grams for it 0.1 So this is 0.1 Is it clear? Check it from this, this, this side Check from this side It's clear, eh? That's 0 0.1. Thank you. This is 0 0.1 and this is our 50 liters. So here is 50 liters of water. And here is 100 grams of salt. Okay. So all you need to do is to just have this try to have it dissolved, right? Do it gently. Don't be in the face like me. Now it is dissolved. And the next thing is, you don't, you gently filter this water out. Right? This is the water coming from wherever it's coming from. We are not interested in um, mixing this with whatever we have in our farm. So you need to let this water go. Then you you like beat the fish and disinfect them before introducing them to your own farm. Is that okay? Because you definitely have different water um, water words, water parameters from wherever it's coming from to your farm. They are different. They are not the same. Right? If you have two boreholes here right now, this water will be a little bit different from this one. It is normal, okay? So just make sure you do this before stocking them to your pond. You see how gently I did this particular practice? You don't have to, you don't have to force them. Don't stress them. Just be calm with it. Is that okay? So after letting the water out, you leave it for a while. Then you come and gently dip. You dip it inside. That's why we call it salt dip, right? You see how they are happy. <laughs> salt is actually anti-stressed and um, it's an antibiotic as well. Just with salt alone. You can you can do a whole lot with salt alone. So normally you leave it inside this for one to three minutes. Between one to three minutes, you let them move around, move around, get soaked in this environment. It should be one minute already, correct? Not one minute. 
but you do this for one to three minutes gently this I think it's okay it's already one minute then you take them out gently of course you are doing this close to your pond so you can easily just get them into your pond Now let's assume this is actually where I got this fish from. And let's assume this is the pond you want to empty them in. You dip it slowly, right? You can see that I'm not throwing them inside. You don't have to stress them. You slowly introduce them to their environment. Is that okay? Slowly introduce them to their environment. You don't have to stress them. Then you take um your container down and let them swim out you can see you let them swim out let them swim out and gradually they are in i bet you this fish will be very very fine they'll be very very fine you hardly find them falling sick or being affected by bacteria just whatever Name it. So this is how you do what we call salt dip. This is how you do what we call salt dip. I think this video is long already. Maybe I'll break the videos into two, right? And I'll do the next video for salt bait. So salt bait is a treatment you do like every um, two two weeks or three three weeks in your farm to make sure that your fishes are healthy and they are doing well. If you found this video helpful do not forget to subscribe to this channel we always put out educative content like this to help you in your catfish uh, journey farming journey so subscribe to this channel hit the like button if you like this video or share it so that other interested farmers or other persons that are interested in farming that are on your on your list or on your profile can get access to such an educative video like this so we cannot remain profitable i mean give up the audit so we can all be profitable in this business. Thank you.